Okay, what I'm going to do today is laser the back of a mirror. What I have is a 12 by 12 mirrored tile that pick up for lows, fairly inexpensive in a pack. I'm going to, on the back side, laser etch an image, removing all of the mirrored finish exposing the glass. It will not be etching into the glass, just exposing the glass. And I've tried this once already and realized that it needs to be laying face down on a uniform surface. It doesn't matter about the color. I've got a green poster board here that I've folded in half and taped to my bed. And it needs to have that uniform background because if there is an image underneath that glass from a waste board or from your honeycomb or whatever the difference in temperature uh, with the way the laser reacts with that glass from that image will actually burn that image into the glass and I'll show you that in a few minutes so I've got a piece of board down here and need to get it framed up. Now, how do you frame up a piece of mirrored glass and get your image square? Well, I'll show you. All right, so in order to get my mirror on my board square and have my image correct, it's real simple. Starting with a clean slate, you come in, create a square. We know it's going to be 12 by 12. 12 by 12, okay. there we go, and we tell it to go to the center of our work bed, like so, we've got it in line, and we need to just do a single pass, uh, very low power, because we don't want to cut through the paper, and so I'm going to put it at about uh, 80% speed, and 80, 80 millimeters a second and about oh let's try five percent power single pass okay and let's send that and see what happens actually you know what let's frame it from the laser fill up the frame that looks good that's good. All right, now we're golden. All right, that worked. Now I can see it. You can barely see it there on the camera, but I got a, a nice outline of a 12 by 12 square which is what my mirror is. Now we'll get that framed up. Face down with the mirror. And I use that outline of that laser to get my mirror square. And then tape it all down. All right, so I've got that now framed within the template that I need to focus. You don't want this to fall on you, glass, because it's glass. All right, so this is our image we're going to burn. It is in a mirrored image. Uh, the way you do that when you've got your, when you're designing your image, of course, it's going to look like that. It's easy enough for you to read. But when you're going to burn the back side of the mirror, you need to think you need the mirror or reversed image. So you select your entire image, and right up here at the top of your menu bar, you have mirror horizontally. And that flips your image like so. 
All right, let's check our framing. We've already squared the tile on our template. And since our image is now centered on our page like we want it, we should be able to just tell her to burn. Burn, baby, burn. And here's a glass that was not antiqued. It's still a mirror. And no color, no antiquing. And with the backlit. Pay attention, pay no attention to the monkey behind the mirror. So here's a brand new antique mirror that I just made. Antique because it's been processed in a way so that the lettering looks like it's been aging. There we go. The silver, I don't know if it's, it's the silvering process is starting to age and look like it's really, really old. But I just made this along with the frame that it goes with and She's antiqued and aged. So she is a mirror. Hello. But it's a mirror with color. And like I said, the aging is an option. It doesn't have to look like that. But these are some new things I'm playing with and deciding to sell. Here's a piece I designed I'm going to do and then do the engraving pink so that when you look in the mirror you can position your face in the hole so it looks like you are the pink bunny from A Christmas Story. The mirror is filthy but it turned out great. All my creations are for sale. And if there's a design that you would like to see, I'd be happy to create it for you as well. If you'd like to have an inspirational mirror with scripture or a, a famous quote, whatever you can imagine, I can create it. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and any comments are greatly appreciated.